Hey YouTube, uh, I'm just going to do a quick video on a couple new tanks I've added to the fold. I made both of these in the last couple days. They're completely new tanks, which usually I build off old designs, but these are completely new. Uh, first we've got the uh, M11. This is actually a main battle tank, so this would technically be my main battle tank 8. Though it's not that, it doesn't perform, it performs decently well, because the, it's kind of confusing when you're shooting at this thing. It's really big. There's a lot of vacant space in here. I'm only use this one engine, so it's not the fastest tank in the world, but it weighs about uh, 40 tons on the dot. 39.8 yep, tons. And uh, I actually, the frontal profile is actually uh, almost identically sloped to a T55. It's got a couple more degrees on the upper plate. But it's not the same thickness. We've got uh, over 300 effective, about 320 on the upper plate, and uh, uh, 261 millimeters on the lower plate. So the lower plate is the weak spot on this tank, but not really by much. Uh, lower plate's at 55 degrees. I think the upper plate is at 62 degrees. Usually it would be at 60 degrees, but it's a little bit different. Um, this tank has not reached the A1 version yet, so it's got some weaknesses, like the wheels get blown off very easily. Uh, but it's a strong-ass tank. It's nice, and it looks pretty nice. It's not really a sex tank, but it's it looks decently nice. And then we've got uh, 335 millimeters on the turret. We've got these big PHX blocks here, and we do have an area where the gun comes through the turret, though it's not quite as well refined as it often is on other tanks that I have. Yeah, I actually really like this one. This one's fun. Can maneuver. It's not a fast tank, but it fights and it can win. One time, uh, Dobbers blew off basically this entire side. Like, this entire hull was completely destroyed, but he wasn't targeting the frontal area, so he didn't hit this ammo, and then I ended up winning the battle anyway. That was pretty crazy. Okay. So that's one of them. That one's really not, I'm not super proud of that one, I just thought I'd show it off a little bit. Oh yeah, I've also got the Q120. Uh, this is, uh, my friend Quinn gave me the chassis for this tank, and I basically gutted it and added a new turret and made this, this is a 55 ton uh, main battle tank. Great armor on this beast. Yeah, this is a, this is a strong ass tank. It's It's pretty small. Uh, for the 120, but it's got a 120 millimeter gun, and it it just looks it just looks really refined. It's got that nice color job and stuff like that. I really like this tank. The, the whole map like moves up and down when you aim, which I like. It's the first tank that used those big PHX blocks for the front of the turret. Decent tank all around. Anyway, the main reason I made this was to showcase my newest light tank because I don't make that many light tanks. This is a uh, 23 ton, um, well armored light tank. I don't know, it's not, it's almost a vanguard tank, which are my more heavily armored, lower armed sorts of light tanks. But yeah, it's a, it's a damn well armored tank for 23 tons. You've got, uh, Glacis armor at 329, and, uh, and lower plate armor at 319 millimeters. Even if you shoot it on the, uh, on the weld here, uh, you've still got to get through 267 millimeters because these are uh, thicker plates. So this can take some damage from the front. And then you've got uh, you've got kind of a weak spot there if you were to hit a shot there. But the main uh, the main glacis on the turret is still 300 effective. Ridiculously low profile turret on this beast. Now it's a 75 millimeter cannon and. Uh, Probably shouldn't shoot in the side. The side of the turret's not very well armored, but the side has, um, the side is actually very well armored. You've got, you've got 100 millimeter plates up in the front in case someone wants to try to put a shot like through your, uh, just through the front side there. You got 20 millimeter spaced armor over the tracks and 80 millimeters of side armor. So this thing's actually like very well armored for, uh, for its weight class, um, usually you'd go with a little bit less armor on a 23 ton. The main reason you can pull it off is because it's only got that 75 millimeter gun. 
It's got a, uh, a 30 caliber um, coaxial armament, and it also doesn't carry much ammo. It only carries like 16 rounds, which isn't very much, but that could be changed. Um, inside, we've got a medium gas turbine engine. These are really nice for really small tanks because they're small and they've got really good power band and they've got uh, really high revs. Uh, though you do require fuel with these, so they do take up more room than than uh, they do take up more room than other engines. But you can put the room in different places. If I just had one honking giant engine here, it would have to take up this entire back area, which would be a problem. Anyway, let's just show some of the driving performance on this thing. Okay, yeah, I've been making a lot of tanks recently. I don't know if I've gotten the revs quite down to where it's performing at its maximum level, but uh, it should be pretty close. Seventy-five millimeters is not the most powerful gun in the world, but it can get the job done. It's got 120 pen and it's firing APHE. Um, I didn't bother with uh, I didn't bother with AP. I could have gotten 150 pen out of it if I had bothered with AP, but I did not. So. Um, so yeah, it's firing AP HE. I find these lower caliber guns, you're usually better off firing AP HE because, you know, 150 pen versus 120 pen, you know. The, the, the gun kind of comes through the top of the turret when you're bouncing over stuff like that, which I can fix that on later versions. For some reason, that likes to drift right a lot. I'm not sure why. I'm not a hunt. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was, that was fun. It really likes to drift right when you're going like up hills and stuff. You can kind of see it here. I don't know if I messed something up with my drivetrain or what exactly happened there, but yeah, it doesn't really matter to me at this time. That's fast, sexy. It's, a, it's overall a fun tank. It needs to be combat tested still, though. But there aren't that many uh, tanks under 30 tons, oftentimes. Not sure how long it can run on its fuel. It must be at least five or ten minutes, I'd assume. It lost a lot of speed around that corner. Even though it's a light tank, it's not a super fast tank. But usually my light tanks uh, are kind of underpowered. This one's got a decent power plant with the gas turbine, but um, yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't count on it really. My medium tanks, usually 40 to 50 tons, are usually very fast. I match the MG speed, uh, or uh, muzzle velocity to the main gun, so I can kind of use that as a uh, guiding sight. Anyway, I think that's really all I need to show. Um, Probably a boring video since I just kind of looked at a few tanks and signed off. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm right now, getting into the light tank game a little bit, and uh, also trying to expand my main battle tanks outward a little bit. Though still, my older designs seem to still be better. I don't know, but we'll we'll see in the coming times what happens. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go now. Have a good one.